I know you're gonna be. Fu- you're. St- I'm glad you're not p- as pissed as you were at the beginning of this episode. Mm-hmm. But um, b- I've never saw Avatar 3D IMAX because I knew that I was about to break up with this with this girl Meg, and I had I didn't have the courage to break up with her. Meg yet. Stalter. I forgot you guys dated. No, it wasn't Meg Stalter. A very funny comedian, by the way. Yeah. Um. No, but I I didn't look, I didn't have a like. Maybe that's out. what's that should be next for you is big fat woman what do you girlfriend. mean next that's my that's my life right now yeah you know i'm with a loud type of big bitch no you're not i know she's not <laughs> at all <laughs> she's a lovely beautiful woman yeah. um so no anyway so you know I, everybody knows our style we go on a double date we're sitting at the table that entire mm-hmm. table's weighing fucking combined 185 pounds yeah yeah no that's not that's not our style and we all share we all share one big noodle <laughs> We all just suck around the noodle disc. Dude, my dad, I, I, I don't know if I've said this on the show, but my dad saw Avatar 3D IMAX. I didn't go... And he cried, the most beautiful movie. He ever. didn't cry, no, but he got depressed. Mm-hmm. He got depressed for the... For, it was the third time I've ever seen him get, mm-hmm. like, kind of lose his mind. Yeah. And it was because he's been living on this planet his whole life, and it was the first time he got to live on another planet. Yeah. And then the movie ended, and he wanted to go back to Pandora. And be with the Navi. <laughs> I, I truly thought that was one of the gayest movies I've ever seen. I didn't enjoy a second of it. Did you see it in 3D IMAX, yes. though? I heard it's like a, a fucking ride. No. I, I heard it's an amazing ride. No. No. I, I want to I see it, dude. I never got to do it because of that you know girl. It's an made. amazing ride? The Tower of Terror. Yeah. Disney World. Is it? Scary? It's not that scary. Um, I told you I went on line, that roller coaster the, at that mall in New Jersey. The line is scary. Yeah, the line at Tower, Tower of Terror. Terror. They really, they really went all out for that fucking. That must be the coolest job in the world. Is being, being the guy into industrial music that that, <laughs> that designed <laughs> the Tower of Terror setup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just some guy getting Trent Reznor. Yeah, some guy getting some guy with colored contacts getting autistic pussy in 1997. <laughs> it was West Borland. Yeah. Um. No, my dad got seriously depressed, dude. Yeah, that Avatar is... He was one of those people. The yeah. V thing. It, the, you know the first two times I mm-hmm. saw him like that? First time, O.J. Simpson. Really? He thought... He was like the only... He thought that the way the world had set him up, mm-hmm. the white police officers also set up O.J. Simpson. Yeah. My dad was an O.J. innocent guy. Well, that's funny because there's a lot of like boomers. Will, <laughs> there's boomers. Will, they remember like the the two months in their early years where they maybe went to a protest or something, mm-hmm. and then they're like they get yeah, to they the think end of we their tried life. to make a difference. Yeah, right. Yeah. They get to the end of their life and they're fucking. We were stories. revolutionaries, man. Yeah. No, you just fucked without a condom. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. You fucked some girl with a nasty smelling pussy. Yeah. You put patchouli oil on her and fuck some nasty yeah, bitch. You got patchouli hole. You got some patchouli puss. You got a bunch of you fucked. You got a, a little bit of patchouli puss. Yeah, you fucked a pussy that looked like a like a Thanksgiving table decoration. 